Namaste programs and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the French Bush trip leg two. We're going from La Teste de Bush to Mimizan Airport. You can see here LFCH2, LFCZ or Z if you prefer, which is down here, down here. Excellent. Um, as you can see from yesterday, we landed at the end, off the end of the runway, so we're going to have to turn around. If that's even something that's doable, let's go. Come on. Come on. The turning circle on this plane is terrible. I could have just used the taxiway over there, but, you know, why bother? Maybe we will now. Maybe we will now. Maybe we'll just... The grass is fine. The grass is fine. Let's just get going. Let's just go. Full power. Let's go. Let's get in the air. Let's go fly a kite. Go. and we want 145 no we don't let's start our clock let's get to the right section we want 215 for 2 minutes 43 get that lined up that'll do ish get our flaps up I'll pick up a bit of speed here oh, look at these canals awesome Basil Sanguinet Lake. For the next leg of your journey, you'll be flying through restricted airspace, so pay close attention to all indications. Avoid the area south of Arcachon Airport, which is where we are now. As you make your way southwest, soon you will see the vast expanse of Casal Sanguinet Lake and should head for its western shore. Yes, there's the lake. I don't know what's restricted. I don't know whether this game actually has anything like that, but certainly not during the bush trips, because we've got no comms. Look at this farmland though, and these canals, and this beautiful lake, and this giant white box on my screen. Alright, 1500 feet? That sounds about right. Let's go to 0% trim. That seemed to work for us yesterday. Wait for the plane to do its little bit of floofing, as it's known in Chaz's dictionary. Not a real dictionary, by the way. Little town on the lake here. Oh, are you the restricted area? I wonder what's going on over here. A little tower. A weird road onto a huge area. Maybe this is a military installation. Maybe that's some kind of bombing range or firing range or something. Who knows? Why else would it be restricted? We're heading to the west side of the lake. In about 30 seconds is the time to turn, but we're going to wait for the purple line. As always, Get a nice, good view of the uh, Atlantic, I was going to say sea, the Atlantic Ocean. Over there again, it was very straight, very straight. I guess the uh, Atlantic is constantly um, sharpening the edge of, the, uh, of the, the land there. Makes sense, I suppose. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that graphics on this beautiful absolutely beautiful oh, I've got my uh, call sign on the plane now I didn't yesterday I wonder what changed absolutely nothing the game just decided it wanted to say Chaz all right so 173 for 2 minutes 14 
Gerade Aquak. There we go, and we're heading to uh, Vica Rossa. Across the lake to reach its southernmost point and the island uh, inland town of Bicarossa. Now suddenly we're too high. I wasn't paying attention. We've just been steadily climbing this whole time. Because I had full power. Like we're heading to whatever this jutting thing is. Drop some height a bit. Now let's not actually rip the uh, wings off to do it. There we go. 2000 is probably about right. We want to keep under 2300 revs. Which we're kind of sort of now doing. One minute on this segment done. Oh wow, look at this, uh, this marina down here, isn't that cute? Little town, I guess, not far, yeah, I guess all these houses, that's just, they keep their boats in the one area, fair enough. I don't know what this, uh, line, I guess this is a canal, kind of irrigation system. And beautiful green wiggles in the water. And this must be Vicarossa. Vicarossa? Not bad as towns go. Beautiful little western French town. Alright, 145 for 237. Here we go, over this town as well. rentis en -Bon. To the south lies another large body of water. Lake Vicarossa et de Parenti. Airspace between the lake and the coast is restricted. But if you follow the northern shoreline as it bends east, you will be in the clear and soon find the town on parentis en -Bon, east of Parentis Airport. Okay. So that area is over there is restricted, but we're sticking to the north thing, we're fine, alright. I don't think the game just boots you out and says, sorry, you're in uh, restricted air airspace. Wouldn't that be good if it did? Oh yes, there's the airport, so that must be Parenti Airport, just here. Is this still part of the town of uh, Vicarossa, or is this Parenti? Uh, what? What are you? are not telling me anything. And I don't know why I'm doing an Italian accent. Just got hit with a bit of wind or something. Just got launched to the side a bit. Maybe this is a military airport? Why is it all restricted airspace, I ask you? Sneak our way through some clouds, just for a bit of atmosphere. Cool. Let's go. Cool. Right, another minute or so until we're... Actually, this must be Parenti on board. So that's where we're headed. A beautiful lake. Well, lakes are just generally beautiful, aren't they? Bodies of water. Why, as human beings, do we find them so pleasant? I mean, I guess, I guess instinctually we want to head towards the water because we need water, apparently. I guess our brains have evolved to the water. Must have water. Okay, two fourteen. For four minutes twenty-three. Reset it. Clock. From Paranti, set a course southwest. We're heading to Mimizan. When you reach the relatively small lake Dorilan, 
Doraion look for the mouth of a river on the opposite side and the town of Mimizon to the south. Alright, that must be the other lake over there. Let's go, let's go. River on the opposite side of the lake and a little town to the south of the lake. So, alright. We must be heading over here somewhere. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. The graphics. The sense of actually being there. Although this would be the, you know, full immersion sense of actually being here. Too much power, we're a bit over the 2300. Alright, there we go. Get that going. Correct. Oh, good. We've got storm clouds off in the distance. Such a pretty landscape. So many farms. Hey, we've got radar fields, just like in America. France not to be outdone. They, you know, well, look, you know. In one of our uh, videos, we went and visited the Pyrenees, a town that I tried to get to in, in a car but couldn't because it was too cold. A Bougarac that is famous for having an upside-down mountain that people believe uh, is a landing zone for alien spacecraft. So France is not immune to that kind of bullshit as well and we're sort of headed that way right now so you know yep this is uh the radar fields of course we know from our uh, nevada bush trip are uh, entirely a fiction they're not really about farming they're there to guide alien spacecraft into the designating landing areas that the lizard people designate that control us in the government using 5g and the covid vaccine And whatever else conspiracy theory you might want to add to that. All right, we're nearly at the lake, which is Lake Doreion. A U R E I L H A N. Doreion. Doreion. And my tongue is tripping over that word. But that is the problem of not actually being French. I'll just say it as an Aussie, I guess. Like Dorlhan. G'day, mate. Is this like Dorlhan? Thick, mate. Sick town, bro. Jeez, Cobber. Struth. Crikey. Crikey, that's a lake. And what's your town? Crikey, Mimizan. G'day, Mimizan. I'm just going to call you Mimzo. How you doing, Mimzo? Let's see. We've got about 20 seconds on my clock. We'll wait for the purple line, though. Look at this little town next to the lake, not far from the ocean. Nice big mall there to do your shopping in. Probably an old champ or a Pontinant or something like that. One of them. All sort of industrial zone over there. Pretty little town. Welcome. Well, Mimzo. Thank you for having me. Not that I actually landed here. All right, we're turning 174 for 138. Bias, fly directly south from Mimizan and initiate your approach. When you reach the town of Bias, adjust your heading east towards the Mimizan airport. Of course, in Aussie, that would be Bias. We're headed to Bias and then on to Mimzo airport. 
Where's Bias? This little town here. And then it's 49 seconds to the airport on the last segment of this leg at 92 degrees. So the airport must be... that must be it here. We're heading here and then doing that. Is that it? I think from the picture that is it. We'll, we'll just read that out now first. Mimizan Airport, continue on an eastward approach from Vyas and land on runway 08 at Mimizan Airport. That's the first time the bush trips have ever said what runway to land on. Well, definitely this way is 08, so let's go, let's start dropping, we'll get ourselves over Vyas here. The old town of Bias. Bunch of people who live here that just, you know, they don't do things fairly. Get our flaps down. Oh, look at this bunch of biased people. Cute little town, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to suggest you're biased because your name in English is Bias. Okay, I don't know why we're suddenly plummeting, but hey, why not? We've got no power. Trying to drop out of the sky here, but we're very much not losing much as high as much as I would like. So let's um, yeah, let's just sort of drift over this way a bit, and now maybe we're looking okay. Rather be low, too low than too high, as always, because we can power through too low. But too high, there's nothing you can do. You have to go around, and we don't want that. Get our front view going. There we are. Purple lines also caught up with us. Took this a little bit wide, but that was because I was trying to lose some height. Alright. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Again, we learnt yesterday with this plane, it just takes forever to actually drop. It floats. This plane is powered by helium, apparently. I think we're too high. We're just not, we just, I'm just, this plane is different to all the others I've flown. It just doesn't drop out of the sky. Stop. Let's just Stop. do a bit of this. Stop. Stop. Try and uh, Stop. not stall completely, but lose a bit of height. There we go. Here we go, now that's going to be too fast, alright, slow her down. There we go, that might have been enough. Not a big runway like yesterday, so we do actually have to get onto the ground as soon as we can. Alright, now we can start flaring. Again, come on, drop! It just doesn't drop this plane! Just going to have to put our wheels down, get the brakes on. That's the trick with this one, yeah? Just get the wheels on the ground, use the brakes. Even if we're going too fast. Alright, not a bad, not a bad landing. In the end, had to do a bit of trickery. But we made it. Welcome to Mimzo Airport. Will it register? Yes, it will. Leg completed. That was leg two of the French bush trip. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Au revoir. Goodbye.